Uh, looking at the markets here, um, you know, the euro recently is in a weak spot because of the, the Greek crisis. Um, gold is near record price in, in terms of euro. Yeah. Um, how do you see things unfolding over the next couple of months? Um, uh, let's start with the stock market here, uh, which is also a leading indicator for the economy. Um, I really think uh, we are in a large top building process here right now. The stock market is massively overvalued. Uh, the German in, stock market. Uh, uh, oh, uh, my analysis usually starts in the United States because this is the leading financial okay. market and then it breaks down these um, uh, results uh, to the rest of the world. Okay. Yeah. Uh, massively overvalued in the United States, uh, not so massively overvalued in Europe. But still, history tells us if we have a bear market in the US, uh, Europe will not only follow, Europe will probably again be the high beta market, which means when the United States tumbles 30%, uh, well, the German DAX tumbles 40 or even uh, 50%. Mm -hmm. Overvalued, drastically overvalued, um, massively technically overbought in all time frames. Um, extremely over bullish with uh, well nearly uh, enthusiastic sentiment indicators just one example uh, the, the cash level of uh, US mutual funds down to a record low a new low at 3.4 percent cash which means never before have mutual funds been more heavily invested in the stock market than now than today then we have this rising interest rate environment. We have rising inflationary pressure in terms of uh, uh, PPI and CPI. And uh, all of this makes for a very, very high risk environment. And uh, some markets, uh, especially emerging markets, um, have obviously already turned around. They they are leading, they were leading on the upside, they were the first to come out of the um, uh, bear market lows in, in, in 2008 already, and they are obviously now leading on uh, the way down. They were first in making their tops here, and I think the rest of the world will probably soon follow, which means if we get a bear market, a stock bear market here, uh, the economy will definitely follow. We will then get an other global, well, at least slow down, more probably a, 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 another global recession uh, accompanied by another banking crisis. Uh, and then commodity prices, again, will also correct. They will not end the secular long-term bull market but they still can have a cyclical uh, correction, which can be relatively severe, as we all know. They are very volatile. Yeah. And, uh, well, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's just gold, which could be, well, the rock in the storm or uh, the rock in the wild sea. The safe uh, haven. Uh, the, the safe haven, exactly because of its safe haven status. It's not just yeah. an inflation hedge gold. Gold is much more. It's a... A, a hedge or an insurance against all kinds of reckless policies. Well, and all around us in the world, uh, we have really reckless policies going on. Yeah, so just like a, a house, which is a tangible asset and provides shelter for you and your family, gold, also a tangible asset, provides financial shelter for you. Exactly. Yeah. 